Hi everyone, I just thought I'd share how um, cheap having an EV can make your home electricity and how it can make a big difference to your bill. So this is my bill for March, I think it's basically the 6th of March to the 31st and you can see I've used a lot of energy, the bill's not tiny, look it's 135 quid but I do a lot of my bill. But have a look around here, most of my usage is at the low 7p uh, rate rather than the 28p price gap and so my day rate is no higher than the price gap the price gap at this time in March was still 28p hadn't come down to 24 so I'm not paying any penalty for my daytime rate but in addition I'm getting a lot of my home energy use uh, 555 kilowatt hours compared to uh, 264 and that changes the average rate if you look down here in the middle changing my average rate down to about 14 p a kilowatt hour, which you can't get anywhere else really, other than a time of use tariff. Uh, and this was in response to someone on Twitter, who's on uh, Steve Harvey, I think he's called, who's on the Agile tariff, and he was saying over the last two months, he's averaged about six p a kilowatt hour. And obviously I'm paying over double that, but this involves no micromanaging, simply plugging the car in and using the Intelligent Go um, automated system, where it gives you not only half 11 till half five every night at this lower rate, 7p, but also additional hours if you require it um, to give you extra charging time for your car. So you might get extra hours, I don't know, from nine after the peak in the evening uh, to 11, or you might get some after the uh, cheap period ends from five, you know, up until nine in the morning or something, um, in order to satisfy whatever you need for your car. So you don't worry or stress about that at all. Um, but it's still kind of off peak, Octopus control this, and so it's when it's cheapest for them, most convenient for them. And you know, when I pull my car and I don't mind if it starts charging at six, seven, um, six, seven, eight, nine, not 10 or 11 at night, as long as it's got the percentage that I need in the morning, uh, which is the main thing for everybody. Uh, they're after the function of, I want my car 80%, or I want my car 100% when I set off in the morning. Um, and as long as it achieves that for me, I don't mind if it starts at 6, 7 um, at night during the evening peak when electricity is expensive, but I won't get a, a cheap rate if I do that. Um, or does it just do it at 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, whenever it's cheapest for my energy company? Uh, and as long as whenever I need to leave at uh, 7, 8, 9 a.m., it's where I was expecting the car to be, I'm not bothered. Uh, and so that's Octopus Intelligent, and that's how it works. They've got an internet protocol called OCPP that does that and works with the Zappi, the Omi, and the Warbox charger currently. Um, but there'll be many more, I'm sure, that are working to get to it. So have a look at this. You can do it manually with something like, um, what's it called, Octopus Agile, uh, but there's not really a lot of automation with that. You've got to do that yourself or get something like Home Assistant to do it yourself. Perhaps there are some chargers that optimize for this. I don't know what they are, sorry. Um, but uh, it's, it's possible that you could get a deal of automation with it. There's no reason why you couldn't. Probably just a bit more complicated. Um, and you could potentially get down to rates of about 6p, or there might even be negative hours where there's a, a glut of solar, a glut of wind uh, that no one's using, and that the companies are gonna have to pay the solar farm or the wind farm to turn off. Uh, for example, Scotland can only export so much energy down to England, they've only got so many big wires, and so they might not be able to do that at certain times, because uh, that's where a lot of the wind farms are, etc. And a way around that is to pay consumers to use that energy less than they would have to pay the wind farm to turn off. Um, so that's a, that's a way of keeping the grid nice and green and not wasting green energy when it's available. And this is what they call plunge pricing, or you're giving um, price signals to the market uh, to shift their uh, usage. And so there's some really great videos on YouTube where Greg Jackson, the CEO of Octopus, explains all this, it explains the pricing mechanism. Or if you want to know more about the energy market, there's Modo Energy, who do a great series of podcasts, or even Michael Liebreich, uh, the former owner of New Energy Finance, which has now been bought by Bloomberg, called Bloomberg NEF, and he's got a um, podcast called Cleaning Up, which is uh, wonderful, talks to all sorts of different uh, climate leaders in different spaces, 
uh, and will explain uh, a lot of different concepts, including this one, uh, to you. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Me rambling on about energy prices. This is a great way of getting your energy bills down from 24p a unit or 28p a unit down to 14p a unit or even 6 if you can be bothered to micromanage things on Agile. Let me know what you think in the comments.